Sunflower 12, 12, Portrait Tri, Part 2 or 3. So, uh, the drawing I was trying to do to the best of my ability, and uh, I came to find that the best of my ability is uh, not that great, but whatever. Anyway, uh, here I'm uh, doing the lips by uh, observation, and uh, I was thinking, boy, it'd probably be better just to uh, sketch in some big juicy lips and stuff, but uh, instead I was just doing drawing from what I see, the little reflections, uh, the total value, then uh, capture the shape of the face best I can here, and uh, you know, I thought it was going okay, but uh, far from the luminescent, uh, striking uh, drawing that I was hoping to get. Uh, anyway, uh, continue working, and uh, you know, uh, I did established proportion early on and decide just to go with that even though the likeness was not really uh, that great. Uh, here I was shading in the background uh, which is uh, kind of silly since you can see all those pencil lines but whatever and right there I sort of thought okay well that's about all I can do but then uh, I saw these glaring uh, deficiencies uh, namely the you know a super dark area like right by the eye that was attracting the eye so using the needed eraser I uh, lifted some of that lead off the paper, likewise for this uh, thing of hair that was right by the chin that was like too dark and, you know, attracted the eye and we really want the eyes to, I mean, the viewer, we want the viewer to uh, probably check out the eyes and then dance around the face as opposed to, uh, you know, look at these big uh, dark uh, areas that uh, attract the eye. Anyway, then, uh, as much as I did not want to uh, mess around with the hair a long time. I did uh, try to uh, revise the shape of the head uh, by means of the hair. And uh, so here, I guess, uh, now I really got it as good as I could. And uh, there is a slight likeness uh, so far as well, 12.